What is up guys? It's a finally a sunny day here in Maryland. Um, it's around 55 degrees, but it's like the middle of winter, so I don't know why. We just have weird ass weather. But finally, it's gonna give me a chance to change my oil. Uh, I just went to AutoZone, bought this. So what you'll need is you need, of course, an oil filter, some oil, and a little tray to catch your oil. Well, I have this. And I bought some oil from Amazon because it was way cheaper. I'll show you, it's five quarts. So. There it is, I bought some oil from Amazon. It's way cheaper on Amazon than in AutoZone or Advanced Auto. Um, so I'd recommend if you guys need to change your oil, hit up Amazon. No one's sponsoring me to pay this, I'm just trying to save you guys some money. Cool, so once you have your hood open, all you want to do is go to your little oil plug and just open it yeah just, it might be hard sometimes but if it's like really hard to open just let it cool down a little bit and then you can open up your engine plug oh yeah I forgot to mention before you even think about changing your oil you should like at least start up your car uh, to help the oil flow easier and help it come out but here it is, it's right here. Place it down. I got a little rag right here already. Before you guys even think of anything, make sure to put this under your oil pan before opening it up or else it's just gonna go everywhere. So you're also going to want to have like a little towel or like what I have, a spare t-shirt, just in case the oil spills, um, you have something to wipe it up with. So if you have a Jeep TJ like mine, you're gonna want to get a 16 millimeter socket. Make sure it's on the setting where it's loosening up the bolt, not tightening it. So here is how it looks underneath the Jeep. That is the bolt that you're gonna be untightening and the tray is right here to catch it when I open it. And here is the socket. All right, so it might be tight at first, so you're gonna want to have two hands. Once you break the bolt from the tightness, you can literally just unscrew it, or you should be able to just unscrew it by hand. Um, if you can't do that, then something's wrong. So let me just open this, and then you can see the oil literally spill everywhere. Um, I won't be able to catch it, so I'm just gonna unscrew it like this, and the bolt's gonna fall down on here. You guys are gonna see the oil just go everywhere. Here's another tip. Try not to do it in like a windy area or the oil's literally gonna fly everywhere. But here it goes, nothing. There you go. All right, oh shit. See, so I actually caught the bolt. I'm gonna place it down right there. And all the oil is going down. And good thing you have your rag because now you're gonna wipe your hands. And you're just gonna let this flow. Um, yeah. Oh, make sure to open this. Oh, there's air. <laughs> Forgot about that. So it can go drain faster. But yeah, I'll just let this sit. Look how black this is. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's been overdue. Um, I was supposed to change my oil earlier, but it was really cold. So I wasn't about changing my oil in like 15 degree weather. So I waited until it got to 55 like today even though it's still winter. Yeah. But yeah, just wait the oil and let the oil drain all the way. Cool, so it's been around five minutes and the oil's still coming out a little bit, but barely anything at all. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. But you're not finished yet. So that's the oil filter. You still need to, un uh, you still need to change that. And it might be easier to just like unscrew it on the bottom a little bit. And then once you unscrew it like halfway, you go up top, then you unscrew it all the way. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So unscrew it 50% from the bottom because it's easier to get a hold of. Go on top and then unscrew it all the way. All right guys, once you're done, you wanna wipe it off first, then you wanna screw this in. Um, and then you just wanna wipe it off once more. Make sure it's tight, but not too tight. So what I do is I just make sure it's hand tight. Don't do, don't go too crazy. So the next time you're gonna open it, you won't have big problems. So yeah, not too tight guys. And now let's tackle the oil filter. 
All right, guys, so I just unscrewed that like 50% of the way. So I'm on top of the hood right now, and I'm just gonna do it by hand. So all you do is that. It's a really weird angle. I hate it myself. The oil's already bleeding out, as you can see the oil right there. Yeah, so I put the, the oil pan in the correct spot because it's dripping down. And let me just take this out. I'm like trying to film and hold the oil filter at the same time, but I managed to get it. And oh, holy shit, inside the oil filter is hot as shit. So here's the thing, I had this magnet on the bottom of this oil filter. I just took it off before um, I even decided to unscrew this. And I'll show you guys why I did that. But before anything, you're gonna want to get your oil filter and then you just wanna just literally flip it over and dump all the components so it drains in there. All right, so the new oil filter is right here. Um, the old oil filter is still draining down there. I'm just gonna let that drain a little bit more. But So I'm gonna take this out, show you guys. Yeah, I just got this brand because it was pretty cheap. It was the highest model of that brand. I got the Boss, because I'm a boss, you know? So later, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that filter, put it in here, then recycle that. So a while ago, I decided to buy a magnet from Home Depot. It's like a really strong magnet, and it fits perfectly on the filters. So the whole point of putting a magnet on the filter is to help the filter collect more of the little fine metal shavings that your engine might have. I mean, this is a 1997 4.0, so whatever metal shavings they have, you know, this little magnet should help out a lot. And just by putting it on the filter, it should hold the little metal shaving whenever your oil flows. It should hold the metal shavings right in the filter and not um, let it back into the engine. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just gonna put this right in the middle. It's really strong. And before you do anything, you want to get fresh oil and you just want to put it around the gasket and the insides and then you could just put it back in there. So I'm gonna do that for you guys right now. Stick your little finger in, you gotta finger it. I'm not trying to be sexual, but that's what you gotta do. Then you gotta finger around this little hole right here, make sure it's lubed up. And then you wanna finger the gasket. Um, the reason why you want to finger the gasket and loop it up right here, one, because it's easier to put in, two, it creates a seal, it creates a better seal, so you don't have any engine oil leaks. So yeah, that's about good, and once you did that, you just want to put this filter back in where it was. Um, you want to hand tighten it, you don't want to go crazy with it either, because you want to be able to take it off once you're next oil changes do. So now is the easy part because you just finish literally doing everything else. Taking the oil out, oil filter, and just plugging it back in. There's the oil tray. Next you need a funnel. I mean, you don't technically need it unless you're really skilled, but I would use a funnel and I'll just put that right here. And then you start pouring your oil in. I have six quarts of oil for this engine, so I'm gonna pour that in, and if you have a different type of engine, then make sure you use the right oil. <sighs> oh yeah, and you can use different brands of oil too, guys. I'm using um, I'm using Pennzoil, and I'm also using Castro. Um, doesn't really matter. You can mix brands. I'm only doing that because I bought um, that, then I brought this one. So, and this is five quarts. That's five quarts, that's one quart, makes it six quarts. Bam, quick maths, man. So there's the oil. <clears throat> I'm just letting everything drain from that five quarts into my engine. And before anything, you wanna make sure if there are any oil leaks underneath. Um, I already checked and there aren't. After you're done pouring the oil in, all you wanna do is clean up your cap with a little towel clean up that area now just screw it back in and just make sure it's hand tight next thing you want to do is you're gonna turn on your car then you're gonna let your engine idle for like a minute 
and then you're gonna come out and check your dipstick and see if the oil is at the correct level if it's at the correct level then you're perfect if it's not um, then you probably added the wrong amount of oil that's how you change your oil it's pretty simple thanks for watching guys if you have any questions hit me up